Right, let's create or update the favicon for your Canva website. Now, if you purchased a website template from me, you may have received a favicon bonus where I've given you a template for Canva. So once you click on it, it will look something like this. Um, and of course, we need to update it. So we want to change the color. So we would click on the circle, click up here, change it to your own brand color. Um, we can change the uh, initials. So I have VA. You might want to put you know, whatever your initials are there. Uh, we can also change the font. So when we click on it, oh, when we click on it, we can come up here and change the font. Um, and also instead of having actual words or initials, you could delete the initials altogether and use an icon. So if I come over here, I might say, I don't know, heart icon. And we might choose, let's choose that one there. We will position it in the center and the middle. Maybe make it a bit bigger and we might change that to our brand color as well it might be that pink there okay so if you don't have a template already what we're going to do is open up canva we're going to create a custom sized um, canvas and i recommend just 40 pixels by 40 pixels just a really small little file there we're going to go create a design now if we have a look at the favicons across the top here so canva is obviously a circle uh, google drive has quite a plain sort of background there so that's what we're working on so what i like to do normally is start with our elements and just use a circle and then push it sort of all the way out to the edges there but it's entirely up to you you know what sort of design that you want um, and then we would go in and either add text where we would do you know, our initials or we would do what we just did before with the elements and we would add an icon have a play around with it just remember it is going to be super super small so there's no point in writing a whole word or having anything that's really you know really detailed we want to keep it really really simple so i'm going to go back to this one here once we're happy with it we're just going to export that or save that so i'm going to click on share up the top i'm going to click download and i'm going to keep it as a png now if you have canva pro you might want to select the transparent background so at the moment this white will show around the edge but if you select transparent background the white won't show but this is a free canva account so i'm going to download it as it is I am going to save it to my, oh, it'll go in my downloads folder. So that's great. So now we need to add it to our Canva website. So I'm going to come over to my website template here. Now this one has already been published. If you haven't yet published, go and check out my other training video on creating and publishing your Canva website. That'll walk you through the steps. But this one has already been published. I'm going to go up here to publish website. And what we'll see on the right hand side here is we have these little options here. So what I'm going to do is actually we'll hit continue and then we'll click on the little pencil icon that sits here and we'll click on the tiny little favicon icon there. So at the moment we have just the one design. I'm going to click on the plus. I'm going to upload from my downloads. Oh, let's find the right file. So we'll upload that and once it's uploaded, we'll select it. Here we are and we'll click done and then really important last step to update that is to click publish. Once that is published that will update that favicon and then we can go and have a look at what it looks like once it's live. Any minute now. Cool okay so I already have the website open so that's the old favicon that we can see up there and if I refresh this see how it's changed now so because of uh, the fact that I didn't download it with a transparent background we can see the sort of edge there so you might want to make your favicon square rather than having the circle with the border there so if I was to come back here I might delete that altogether I might change the background to my brand color and I might have this as my favicon instead so let's position that there so that might make more sense so that that full um, border is filled up with color. But let me know how you get on. If you get stuck, just drop a note in the comments. I'd love to help you with this. But I really think having a custom favicon just kind of elevates your website and makes it look super professional.